Well, aren't you going to ask me why I'm mad? Because I haven't been able to eat a single one of my desserts at lunch this week. Well, aren't you going to ask me why I haven't been able to eat them? Because this new girl at school just walks over to my lunch tray and takes them. Well, aren't you going to ask me why I don't try and stop her? Because she's such a bully, I'm afraid of her. So what am I going to do tomorrow when she swipes my banana cream pie? The one dessert I look forward to all week. Don't ask, because I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. Boy, I need some time to think about this. Tales about our friend Hare. What he got in the mail is giving him a scare. But there's something that he's got to do. It's not going to be easy, but he's got to see it through. The ballad of Pie Noon is what I'm here to croon. Trouble's on its way, and it's going to be here soon. When the sun is in the sky, straight overhead, about yea high, that'll be the time. That'll be the time when Hare's luck just might run dry. Mm. I wonder what could be keeping Hare. He's never been late for a morning tea party before. Maybe he's not coming. Uh... Not coming? <laughs> Alice, Hare has never, ever missed a morning tea party. <laughs> no matter how busy he's been, he's always made time to come to every single solitary one. But you've never had a morning tea party. How true that is. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm late. Packing took forever. Oh, but you don't need a lot of clothes for this tea party here. Just a T-shirt. <laughs> the T-shirt. No, no. My bag is packed because I'm getting out of town. Getting out of town? Where are you going? No, I don't care. Anywhere, as long as I'm out of Wonderland by 12 o'clock. Oh! I just got this letter saying Mike McNasty's coming in on the noon train. Who's Mike McNasty? Really, Alice? I can't believe you don't know who Mike McNasty is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's Mike McNasty? <laughs> He was the bully at my high school, and the man responsible for my nickname. Pie Face. Your high school nickname was Pie Face? What a coincidence! Mine was Scooter. Um, why did everyone call you Pie Face, Mr. Hare? Because no matter where I was, this bully would find me and throw a pie in my face. In gym class. My locker. <laughs> Around the bike racks. It got so bad I tried wearing a disguise, but even that didn't work. Oh, come on, Hare. I think you're exaggerating. Here you go. Oh, thank you. No! Are you sure you're not making it sound a little worse than it was, Mr. Hare? Yes! 
Just take a look at my photo in the high school yearbook. See? Ah, say, you wouldn't happen to have a spare wallet size of that, would you? No. And I'm not sticking around long enough to have any new ones taken. McNasty's letter said he'd be here at exactly high noon. Give or take five minutes. High noon? But that's only an hour away. Precisely. So with each passing second, a cream pie gets that much closer to my kisser. But what's an hour? What's a hundred miles? He'll come looking for you and you'll just have to keep running for the rest of your life. Here, I think the time has come for you to confront this bully. But why would I want to say nice things to him? Not comfort him, confront him. You know, go face to face with him. Here, you won't have to do this alone. <laughs> After all, this is your town. You've got friends here. You don't need to be afraid of a confrontation. Hair is okay, cause he's got a friend. A friend will stick by you until the bitter end. So there you have it. Mike McNasty is coming in on the train at exactly high noon. To give or take five minutes. <laughs> and hair needs a posse. Oh. Where are we gonna find one now? They only come out at night. Not a possum, a posse. You know, a group of people who help keep the peace in an emergency. Wait, it's not right for me to drag all of you into this confrontation. It's my problem. But Mr. Hare, if McNasty isn't stopped, he may become everybody's problem. Right, and if we want to keep the streets of Wonderland safe from lily-livered louts, we'd better all pitch in. Gosh, you guys are the greatest. I can always count on you. When I'm feeling bullied and I don't know what to do, you will be my courage. I can count on you. When I'm out on a limb, when I'm really in a stew, you're my number one helpers. I can count on you. Friends here in Wonderland. <laughs> if I'm locked up in a bind, haven't got a clue. Well, your name's on my list. I can count on you. Together we will stand. He will see it's true. There's strength in numbers. I can count on you. I can count on you to lend a helping hand. That's what friends do for friends here in Wonderland. I can count. Now, we've got to hurry. That bully's going to be here in less than an hour, and we don't have a single pie ready yet. Uh, we're planning on feeding him? No, the pies are for self-defense. <laughs> Wait, you mean this bully doesn't just say mean things to you? No, he bullies people by throwing pies at them. You mean he's a pie-pitching pest? <laughs> Don't worry. There'll be five of us and just one of him. No, oh, that won't make any difference. Hey, hear that, Dee? That won't make any difference. <laughs> what do you mean, that won't make any difference? McNasty's so fast, he can cream five people before they can even get their pies out of the boxes. So you're saying our getting involved won't even help? Oh, sure, it'll help. <laughs> it'll help me feel less stupid if I'm not the only one who gets pies splattered all over him. <laughs> Uh, you know, Hare, there is another way of looking at this. <laughs> I mean, what are people going to think if they read about pie fighting in the streets of Wonderland? <laughs> I'll tell you what they're going to think. That this is just another lawless, wide-open land where innocent people can't walk down the street without getting hit in the face with a pie. <laughs> so, uh, what you're really saying is you won't help me because you're chicken. Well, that and my dry cleaning bills are already too high. Wait a minute, Hatter. I don't think you should be so quick with chickens. You're right, dumb. We can't be chickens. After all, chickens can't run this fast. Hare's friends are gone, the friends he thought were true. Now he's standing on his own, makes him want to cry boo -hoo.
funny enough, too. I don't know, Your Majesty, but when I get there, I'll send you a picture postcard, and then you can tell me. Not so fast. So it's true what everybody's saying. You are on the run from some bully, aren't you? Yes, Your Majesty, and I don't have much time. He arrives on the train at exactly high noon. Uh, give or take five minutes. Frankly, I'm shocked that one of your subjects would be bullied by an outsider. No, that that stupid train can't manage to run on time. But now that you mentioned it, how did you get yourself in this situation, Hare? It's never happened to me. I've never been bullied. <laughs> That's because you're the queen. And nobody would dare bully the queen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, I knew there was a reason I took this job. <laughs> you know, I was just reading in this issue of Playground Psychology today that if someone is bullying you, it's better to just walk away and then return later with an adult or a figure of authority. Oh, where in the world is Hare going to find a figure of authority? <laughs> oh, right. I'm a figure of authority. Well, then, Hare, I'll protect you. That bully wouldn't dare do anything to you with me around. Thanks, Your Majesty. But even if the bully does back down at the train station, he'll just be waiting to get me alone some other time, some other place. Which makes the Queen's offer that much more generous. Think about it, Hare. Her Majesty is willing to stick by your side 24 hours a day. <laughs> 24 hours a day? In your dreams? <laughs> On second thought, Hare, this is your fight. Hare, you're in a pickle, so what are you gonna do? Stand up for yourself, don't let that bully run over you. 1140. Which means that Bully's going to be here in exactly 20 minutes. Give or take five minutes. I better go while I still have the time. No. I'm going to stay. I'm a hare. No, I'm a mouse. I'm a hare. I'm a mouse. It seems like you don't know what kind of animal you are. Hi, Caterpillar. I guess my behavior must look pretty strange to you, huh? Yes, but I never let that get in the way of our friendship. It's just that this bully who used to pick on me in high school is on his way to Wonderland. Now I know I should probably stick around and stand up to him. But to be honest with you, I'm a little scared. Well, I don't blame you for being scared. But I do think you should listen to this story. Once there was a large mouth bass named Gil, who was the biggest fish in his pond. Because he was the biggest fish, it was very easy for Gil to bully the others. And to get his own way. Finally, Gil made himself king of the pond. But after a while... Gil got bored being a big fish in a little pond. So he swam far downstream until he found a big pond. As soon as Gil moved in, he went out for a night on the pond, looking for smaller fish to bully. But he didn't find any smaller fish. For you see, in this pond, Gil was the smallest. And so the tide turned for poor Gil. He found out what it was like to be picked on. And he didn't like it one bit. So he hightailed it back to his old pond, swearing he'd never be a bully again. For Gil had discovered it was true what they say. There are other fish in the sea. And no matter how big you are, there is always somebody bigger. That's a good story, Caterpillar. But I'm sure Mike McNasty's never going to change. Bullying's just too much fun for him. Then maybe you should find a way to make it less fun for him. The big bad bully is coming in at noon. Watch out, he will be here soon.
should have known the hare wouldn't be here to meet me. After all, he's too chicken. Ooh, yummy. Did someone say chicken? Who wants to know? I do. And you don't have to get nasty. Of course I have to get nasty. After all, I'm a bully. <laughs> You know, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't even flinch when I steal candy from a baby. I'm a bully type. I always take a swipe at anything helpless. I don't mean maybe. I'm a bully. Yes, I'm a bully. That's right, I'm a bully. wants to know. Oh, a wise guy, huh? No, more like a tit-for-tat cat. <laughs> Listen, I just want to talk to my old buddy. You know, relive some of the good old school days. <laughs> hmm, from what I've heard, they weren't so good for the hair. Why, sure they were. In fact, I'll bet the hare would even go so far as to say those old school days were sweet. <laughs> sure looks bad for the hare, right before his eyes. Bully with an attitude and a little fresh baked pies. Hey, buddy! Buddy! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Are you looking for me? Well, if it isn't old pie face, that's <coughs> Mr. Pie Face to you. Wait, that's not right. It isn't pie face at all. Either. It's hair! And don't you forget it. Aren't you a little... <laughs> jumpy pie face? <laughs> no, I'm not jumpy. <laughs> to me, you look like you're a little... <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> Why would I be nervous? Well, you wouldn't be afraid that I have a... pie with me, would you? <laughs> ah, you got me all wrong, pie face. I may be a bully, but at least I'm a considerate one. You mean you didn't bring any pies? Oh, I brought pies, but I was nice enough to bring your favorite flavor. Hey, aren't you gonna run away like you used to? No. But it's no fun for me if you don't try to get away. Exactly. Oh, okay. I'll make it a little more interesting. I'll put the pie on the ground between us. Then we both walk five paces. Turn and go for the pie. Okay? One. One. Two. two three. Four. Five. Oh, hey, you didn't play by the rules. Of course not. If I did, I'd be left out of the bullies club. Get ready 
thief and desert, pie face! Wait! Your shoe's untied. Aha! Uh -huh. Now the pie is on the other foot! Hey, now who's not playing by the rules? Oh, that's because I'm changing the rules. Bullying is mean, nasty, ornery, and hurtful. And now let's see how you like it. No, no, please! Will you stop calling me Pie Face? Yes! Yes! <laughs> will you stop bullying me? Yes! Yes! And will you bark like a doggy? <laughs> yes! Anything! Well, don't worry. I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to. Because that would make me just as much of a bully as you. And two wrongs don't make a right. So, you're not gonna throw a pie in my face? No. I'm too honorable and noble to do that. Well, I'm not. And neither are we! Taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Mm. Well, it doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> well, I thought you guys were staying out of this. That, that it was my fight. We thought it over here and decided we just couldn't let you confront that bully all by yourself. <laughs> Though it didn't look like you needed our help, you made fast work out of that bully. And you did it without stooping to his level. And for that, I say, bully for you. <laughs> <laughs> Through. Oh, the ballad of Pine Noon is what I'm here to croon. But right now our tale is through, and I'll be leaving soon. When the sun was in the sky, straight overhead about yay high. Yeah, that was the time. That was the time when Hare stood his ground and made the bully cry. You know, one thing's still bothering me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is that guy? Yes, and how do we get him to stop singing that corny song? I'll take care of this. <laughs> Dinah, I figured out what I'm going to do tomorrow when that bully tries to swipe my banana cream pie. I'm going to stand up to her. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to let her know that it's not all right for her to take something that's not hers. Don't worry, Dinah. No matter what she says to me, she's not going to get my pie. <laughs> not even in her face. Uh -huh. 